Read my lips. This video you don't want to miss. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm your chess grandmaster in this YouTube channel. And what we will watch today, dear viewers. So the most exciting match of the chess 2024 Olympiad in Hungary. One we've all been waiting for. The match between USA against India. Will the Indians achieve the impossible and defeat the legends of the world? Or will, you know, the experience prevail and the pressure overwhelm the young stars? Today we will watch the battle on board number one when Grandmaster Gukash with white pieces against the world's number two, Fabiano Caruana. I remind you that very soon Gukash will face Grandmaster Ding Liren from China in a match for the world champion title. A little side note. In the duel between China and India, for some reason Ding didn't play against Gukash, which was quite surprising since they didn't field their strongest lineup against the tournament's leading team. So, you know, to give you a brief overview of what happened on, you know, the other boards in the match between USA and against India, on board number two, Wesley Saw so defeated Pragananda. On board number 3, Arjuna Rigaisi beat Dominguez. And on the final board, board number 4, Vidit and Aronian drew their game. So everything depends on board number 1. Let's dive in and learn from the best chess players in the world. So let's see it. D4, Gukesh is playing against Fabiano Caruana. Knight of 6, c4, e6, g3, d5, and bishop g2. The Catalan opening. Knight c6, very interesting, you know, variation in the Catalan. Let's see. Knight of 3, after 2 minutes of thought, rook b8. Whoa. And now, c takes d5 was played after 14 minutes. So, Fabiano Caruana is playing, you know, knight c6 and rook b8. I think, in my opinion, just, you know, to take away Gukesh from his preparation. C takes d5, bishop b4 check. And as you can see, Fabiano is playing very fast. Until now, he's on his prep. Knight c3, e takes d5, and now bishop to g5. h6, bishop takes, queen takes. Of course, castle, because knight e5 is not allowed because of this pin. So castle and bishop c3, b takes and castle, knight to d2. I really like this move because as you can see, this knight can't jump anywhere good, right? Knight e5, you know, knight g5, knight h4, nothing makes sense. But knight d2 with maybe e4 and, you know, also to develop this bishop in this diagonal to open it. And also maybe knight b3, knight c5 in some ideas. Um, yeah, I really like this move, knight d2. 97 and uh, just defend the pawn on d5 and now e3 was played i think also e4 was interesting move and um, to to play because after d takes e4 just knight takes e4 i don't know where this queen maybe to g6 but here i don't know rook e1 maybe maybe knight c5 maybe rook b1 maybe queen a4 to attack this pawn i i think i really like for white here but uh, i don't know why he didn't play the move e4 but also e3 very interesting move because Maybe his point was to play c4 and, you know, to open this c file. Let's see, bishop e6, now queen a4, uh, developing a queen, also attacking this a7 pawn. And now a6 was played and e4. So he's playing the move e4 uh, because he, is, he understand that c4 will not, will not be good here because of d takes c4, knight takes and b5, right? And just losing, it's a fork. So e4 was played, interesting decision by Gukesh c5 and now queen a3 yeah here maybe d takes c4 was was better but i don't know knight takes c4 queen g6 and knight c5 it seems very very strong right rook f1 rook a b1 yeah not so easy to play for black so we play the move c5 and it seems that Fabiano is playing you know like uh, in the center because he really wants to to disturb this pawn structure 
So we played them with queen a3. The point after queen a3 was, of course, that after c takes d4, there is that just a very strong move, e5. Very strong and brilliant one. Attacking the queen, sacrificing the pawn. After queen takes e5, just queen takes e7, and we are knight up. And if he's playing the move queen g5 with attacking the knight, just knight f3, and the next move will be queen takes e7, because there is no good square for this queen. So queen a3 was played the b6, and now rook a b1. As you can see, Kukush is playing with all his pieces. This bishop is doing perfect, this knight is fine, this queen, only this rook is coming to b1 and also rook f1 will maybe will be the next move. Rook f8 and now d takes c5. I can tell you that I, I also like this move maybe. Um, but because c takes d5, e5, I don't know, it also looks fine for me. But of course d takes c5 also makes sense, you just take a pawn. d4 was played. And maybe you can ask why not to take it immediately, right? D takes c5 immediately, but maybe takes. And, and now after queen c5, you just probably queen, rook fc8 and taking the pawn. So what is the difference? After here, if you're, you're taking and not playing the d4 move, if you're taking um, right away, just takes, takes, and now rook takes, uh, queen takes c5. And after rook c8 now, you have just queen d6. And also the a6 pawn is under attack. So this po this position is, is really strong. And, and that's it. So d4 was played after d takes c5. And now rook c4. Also rook takes b6 was an interesting solution. Because after d takes c3, um, probably knight b3 or knight f3. I think knight b3 also uh, looks fine with knight a5. And rook c1 also. So white has a pawn up and that's it. After rook b6, c takes and this pawn will be uh, very strong here. Um, so c4 was played, I'm not sure about this, as you can see 12 minutes on this uh, Gukesh thought in the 19 move, wow, so 15 minutes for 21 moves, it's really really difficult to handle, but let's see, queen g5 was played, rook fd1, and now b takes c5, also queen takes c5 was an option, uh, probably takes, takes, and I don't know, I thought like maybe take, take, and knight b3, but this is yeah, bishop c4, yeah, I don't like it. knight c5, bishop here, yeah, black is totally fine, also knight c6 maybe, yeah, uh, white is not better here, so maybe queen c5 was a, a, a better option, right? What do you think about queen takes a6, just rook a8 probably, no, rook, rook e8 with d3, maybe, but also rook a8 looks interesting, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes, rook takes a2, this pawn a little bit weak, this pawn will go d3, rook d8, also interesting, I think maybe there is some chances for, for uh, an equalizing for black, but b takes c5 was played, f4 attacking the queen on g5, queen h5 and now f5, another very strong move attacking this bishop and also disable this queen for uh, from the c, you know, from the 5 row, sorry, rook takes b1, rook takes b1, queen e2 attacking this knight, on d2, now f takes c6, queen takes d2, e takes f7, king takes, and now queen takes c5, white is better, one pawn up, let's see, king g8, and now rook f1, very makes sense, you know, just bringing the rook into the game, and also with some ideas of bishop h3, bishop e6, I don't know, maybe queen h5 with queen f7, looks fine, king h7 was played, very strong move, because the king should be safe, there, queen e5, and now queen e3 check, king h1, and d3, Bishop h3, as you can see, Gukesh with 3 minutes on the clock, can you believe it, in only 30 moves, so he had like 3 minutes for 10 moves, it's very difficult, d2 was played, and now Bishop g4, very strong move by Gukesh, is looking for the, this, the, um, uh, the square, of course, of the queen e1, for example, if he's playing just king g2, and, you know, just protect the rook, and also this bishop is looking for this square, so everything is under control, but he played here the move queen d3, now king g2 brings the king, queen takes c4, and now a4, you know, it seems like Gukesh doesn't have so much time to think, and he's playing like, a4 is, is totally understandable move, because you don't want to allow queen takes a2 with queen d1 check, you know, ideas, right, so a4, and queen c6 was played, if you're taking this pawn, rook f7 is a little bit, you know, uh, not so easy to handle, right, bishop f5, queen g7, rook takes g7, not so easy, rook g8, maybe rook takes d1, yeah, probably should have been fine for black, but I, I don't know, e5, the e5, 
if Ipon is running, right? Not so easy to handle. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, it's it's difficult for Black. So I really uh, understand uh, Fabiano here. He's playing the move Queen C6 and now Queen D4, attacking the pawn also, and uh, you know, thinking about taking it one day. Queen G6, and this was a mistake. The best here was to bring this knight to G6 with Knight E5, and after Bishop F5, just I don't know, maybe Queen C2. Um, I think bishop f5 makes sense because if the knight will come to e5, black will be totally fine here because this square is just unbelievable for him. But he played him with queen g6 and a rook f4, also um, defending this bishop on g4 and also defending this e4 pawn. And now the queen will be uh, re relaxed to, to take the pawn on d2. So queen g5, h4, queen g6, they're just taking the pawn, rook b8 and now queen d7, attacking the knight on e7, h5. Bishop e6, rook b6, bishop f7, and takes, 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 and this position is a totally winning position. King f2, and the next moves will be king e3, king d4, and two pawns up for Gukesh. In this position, Fabiano Caruana lost and resigned this game. Cannot believe it. Wow, India, 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 India took the first place. In the Olympiad Chess Tournament 2024 in Hungary before the last round. Can you believe it? Just amazing performance by these young grandmasters from India. We have Gukesh, Pragananda, Arjuna Rigaisi, Vidit, and also Ari Krishna. Just amazing team. You know, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content. See you soon in the next video in the last round of the tournament. Bye-bye.